hey y'all, in the previous video, I shared with y'all a delicious orzo salad recipe that I was preparing to serve around um, a wonderful uh, pan fried flounder. So we're moving on now to the flounder. And this looks like a lot of stuff, but you know what? It's all this stuff that's gonna make it so good. Now in uh, this dish, I've got Japanese breadcrumbs, which are like my favorite in the world. And I've got about a half a teaspoon of thyme. And I'm just gonna mix that together and about a, can't never have too much garlic, can you? That was maybe a half to a teaspoon of garlic powder. So we're just gonna toss that real good. And then in this dish, now I've already broken two eggs and put in this pan because this is like a three-step coating. All right, let's see now. I'm gonna need, I think it's one cup of flour, Eddie. Yeah. Ooh, I'm making a mess. Listen, Eddie made a mess a while ago, y'all. <laughs> he, uh, he was setting up everything for us and, um, and I said, well, Eddie, it's supposed to be a cup of mayonnaise, not a half a cup. And he said, oh, oh, that's right. So he um, went to take it over there to swap it out. And he just dropped it right in the middle of the floor. And listen, that just tickles me to pieces because Eddie doesn't screw up like that. <laughs> so when he does, it makes me laugh. <laughs> it may, it may I know last. he's human too. <laughs> Maybe last year. And not only that, I, I discovered mayonnaise kind of it, it cleans carpets a little bit. Oh yeah, it'll clean your, your face. It's <laughs> great. It's a great conditioner for your hair. And if you get to lick some of it, that's a bonus. All right, now let me see. What all am I going to put in the flour? Help me, Eddie. What am I going to put in the flour? I, I've got our flounder right here. Um, that you put like the salt and pepper in the flounder? Okay. I don't mean in the flour. <laughs> huh? Salt and pepper in the flour. <laughs> Maybe between the two of us, we'll get this done. All right. And that's it. Maybe besides a little parsley. For our vegetables. I can't, I can't, where I can't see those those openings. And for this, I prefer to use like dried parsley. Okay. Excuse me, let me wash my hands. One second, y'all. All right. This is pretty flounder. Uh, and you know, flounder is, is um, it's kind of thin when you fillet it, you know, and get two pieces out of a flounder. All right, so I'm gonna dip this into our flour mixture. And then I'm gonna shake that off. Then I'm gonna bring it to our egg mixture. And then I'm gonna dip it in what makes it so incredibly good. And that's the panko. You know what? These are big pieces of flounder, Eddie. You're gonna need more panko. I, yeah, and I'm gonna need more, more pan. I think I'm just going to have to fix two at the time. Yeah. So, y'all, I've got where I can't multitask anymore. <laughs> Eddie and I, we could be getting old. <laughs> I get to talking and I can't remember what I'm doing. But I forgot to add, what is she wanting, Eddie? I forgot to add the Parmesan cheese to our panko. And, uh, you know, I've already put the time... What, Lulu? You crying? Don't Good cry. Stuff. Yes. Yeah. Ooh, no. So the next piece is right here into the flour. 
that has the salt and pepper and some dried parsley in it. What, Lou? And, um... I might need another egg. You know, some of our chickens lay the teeniest little eggs. And then some... Oh, did I tell you? I probably didn't tell you, Eddie. That jumbo egg that, um... I had put in a different place. Yeah. I cracked it last night and it was a double yolk. I wouldn't have been surprised if it'd been a three yolk egg. Yeah, it was that was so big. It was big. We used to get double ones over at uh, River Bend all the time. Yeah, yeah. I remember. Okay. You'll want to make sure that you press on that. Uh, Pinko, because it's that crust that makes it so good. One more time, I've got to wash my hands, y'all. So I've got our skillet heating, y'all. And while that's getting up to temp, don't let me burn this egg. Help me watch it. I'm going to fry them over a medium-high heat. And while that's working, I'm going to... Um, make our sauce real quick like and this sauce is so easy it's a cup of mayonnaise but it's, it's very easy but it's also very good y'all I'm gonna put a tablespoon of Dijon mustard perfect a teaspoon of horseradish prepared that would be prepared horseradish one teaspoon of lemon juice and some dried parsley for a little color. Okay, so that's our sauce, just that easy. But you want to kind of shake off the excess. I don't know if I'm, I'm not going to be able to get two pieces in there, Eddie. That's why I tell everybody to put it in a large, large skillet. Now, I've got the oven preheating at 450. I think four, is it 400? I thought it was 450. Let me check. Yeah, 400, which is, that's a pretty hot oven. So I'm going to put a piece of fish on a tinfoil line baking sheet, and I'm going to run it in my oven in that hot oven for like six minutes just to make sure it's nice and crispy done. All right, so I think that's going to get all the cooking that we need in the skillet. So I'm going to move it over here. And now I'm going to throw this other piece into the skillet. That Parmesan cheese makes it brown so nice. It gives it that crust, John. So in the oven, this goes for six minutes. Doesn't that look delicious? Wow. Wow. It's so big. I got us little plates. I, I should have done this on big plates, Eddie. You know it? That's right. It'll work. Bon appetit, baby. Looks good. Mm, mm. Yeah, mine's a little bit smaller, so. Mine fits on a plate better. So you ready? I want to take it over the table and let's sit down and have a like a normal meal. Can I put a little dollop of the sauce on yours? Where would you like it? Right in the middle. Right yeah. in the center. Perfect. Yeah. Goody, goody, goody. I'm going to take a bite real quick, my giddy, before we go sit down. I just want everybody to see what this looks like. Oh, it's so flaky. Look how flaky. And look at the steam coming off. 
y'all know that is hot. And I forgot my lemon. Lemon just is so good with fish. go out there and pick up a pine cone and dip it in pink cone and it would be delicious. I just love it. Okay, Eddie, ready to sit down and eat? Ready. Loving best dishes, y'all. Hey, y'all, it's Paula Dean. Now, if you enjoyed this video, be sure to like it and click the subscribe button as well as the notification bell to be alerted when I post a video. Love and best dishes, y'all.